There is already movement in Washington, D.C. ahead of Saturday's March for Our Lives. Student leaders are there, so are local leaders pushing for change in the wake of the shooting at Stoneman Douglas High. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez in the control room with details. Elliot. Well, guys, the Parkland student leaders have become national media celebrities, and they're using that star power to get out their message about gun safety. They know from personal experience what it's like to fear for your life, and today they bonded with students in the nation's capital who struggle with similar fears on an almost daily basis. Please welcome all of our new friends from Marjorie Stone and Doug. The Parkland students paid a visit to Thurgood Marshall Academy in Washington, where two students died in shootings this past year, the tragedies creating a bond between the two schools. I would never wish that someone would have to go through something like I did, but you guys are facing the exact same thing every single day. The Stoneman Douglas students drove home the point that marching on Saturday will be important, but voting may be the most important thing they can do to change the nation's gun laws. If I were a politician who were ignoring the real issues, I would not want to mess with kids from Thurgood Marshall. In all honesty, they do not care if we do not get out and vote, if we do not stand up and make our voices heard. The student leaders also met with congressional leaders and prosecutors from around the country, including Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle. They listened as Alaya Eastman described the tragic events of February 14th. I lost two people in my class and six were hit. I was on the wrong side of the class and no student should have to cover themselves with a deceased classmate to survive, but I was that student. This afternoon, Florida Senators Marco Rubio and Bill Nelson introduced a federal red flag bill aimed at preventing individuals who pose a danger to others from possessing firearms. The law was passed in Florida in response to the Stoneman Douglas shooting. Now, the Parkland students have said the red flag bill is a step in the right direction, but does not go far enough. It's a message they plan to make clear when they march on Saturday.